When you're looking for a bad wire, testing a solenoid's health, or testing the power output from an irrigation controller, it's essential to have the correct tools. These tools are commonly used throughout the irrigation industry to solve basic electrical problems in a system. They're used for finding valves, identifying system wires, testing the health of a solenoid, and manually activating a solenoid electronically. Sometimes on large systems or older residential systems, valves will get lost, grown over, or buried under dirt and debris. There's a setting on each of these devices that will chatter the valve. Chattering the valve simply means the unit will turn the valve on and off continuously, making a clicking noise to help you audibly locate the valve by walking around the site listening for the noise. The Pro 50K clicks at a lower rate of speed, while the Station Master does this very rapidly to create a constant clicking. If the chatter method does not locate the valve, use a wire and valve tracking device. Note, extended use of the chatter feature can damage a solenoid. Built into these tools is a feature that allows you to activate and test a solenoid. To use these features, remove the common wire and station wire from the controller terminals and connect the testing tool to the valve wires in question. Put your Pro 50K or Station Master in solenoid test mode. If it reads between 20 and 60 ohms on the Pro 50K, the solenoid should be good to go. Or if you get a green light on your Station Master, this is also a good sign. If you get a reading outside of 20 to 60 Pro 50K, or if you get a red light Station Master, you'll need to perform the same test at the solenoid in the valve box, bypassing the wires from the controller. This eliminates a bad reading due to bad wiring or a poor wire splice connection. If you get a good reading, you'll need to cut the field wires back and make a new wire connection to the solenoid. If that does not fix the problem, you may need to use more advanced troubleshooting tools, such as a wire tracer and ground fault locator. Note on using these devices for solenoid activation. Because of the high energy from these devices, a bad solenoid may be activated that does not activate from the controller. It's always best to test the ohms of resistance with a multimeter to assess the health of a solenoid by ensuring that it measures in the expected range per manufacturer's specs. In some instances, you may need to identify an unknown wire in a valve box or at the controller. With the Station Master Pro 24K and the Armada Pro 50K, the K indicated that it comes with a wire toner device. This tool, in combination with a diagnostic device, can help you identify a wire in the field by sending a constant tone signal down the wire path that can be identified and amplified by the toner wand. To set up, you must apply the red lead of the diagnostic device to the wire you would like to locate and the black lead to a grounding source. Then put the diagnostic tool into locate tone mode. If there are many wires in a bundle, you may hear a little bit of bleed off from the main wire when you touch the wand to a wire. But the sound will be greatly amplified when you touch the wire directly connected to the diagnostic tool with the tip of the toner wand. These tools can also be helpful for locating a lost or buried valve box. Simply connect the leads to the missing valve wires in the controller and begin walking the area you suspect the missing valve to be with the toner tip nearly touching the ground and listen for a tone or an increase in volume of a faint tone. Then using a breaker bar or shovel tip, poke around for the thud of a valve box lid and uncover the lost valve. If this method or the chatter function method does not work for you, you may need to use other devices like a wire tracer or ground fault locator. Having the right tools to solve the problem in the field can save you time and money and make your company stand out. It's important that we understand what tools are available and how to properly use them to get the job done. The Armada Pro 50K and the Station Master 24BK are available from your local distributors. Thanks for watching.